I'll say one thing about campaigning for office in West Texas. You sure do get to do plenty of driving. Somebody asked me the other day how many miles I thought I'd driven since I announced I was running for Congress over a year ago. And you know, I said I couldn't even begin to guess. 30,000 at least. But what I do know for sure is that there isn't a city or town in this whole district that I hadn't been in during the past 12 months. Most of them I visited three, four, half a dozen times or more. It really is the only way I know how to campaign. Get out every day and meet the people. Howdy. Tell them who I am. I'm George Bush, running for the Congress. I'm George Bush, nice to see you, running for the Congress. George Bush, Bush. businessman, independent you, oil and gas you. producer, and now a candidate for Congress. I think that's the thing we need, less government. Um, time where people are promising more and more to get elected has got to change because there's only so much we can spend without bankrupting the nation. He knows West Texas well. He should. His home is here. He makes his living here. He was raised here. When I was real little, we lived in Odessa. The house has been torn down, but we have this picture of it in the family scrapbook. My father was just starting out in the oil field supply business then. When I was about three, we moved into this house in Midland. And a few years later, into another house a few blocks away. I went to public schools in Midland, first to Sam Houston Elementary School, and then to San Jacinto Junior High. Here's where I first saw a girl named Laura Welch, who is now Laura Bush. As a boy, George Bush played Little League Baseball. He still enjoys the game. And until recently, he has been coaching a new generation of Little Leaguers. Today, he takes a few minutes out from his campaigning to visit with some of his former players. All right, let's get one now, Fred. Coaching Little League Baseball is only one of the community activities Bush base. has been involved in. He also taught Sunday school, and he's chairman of this year's Cancer Crusade in Midland. Let's field. See y'all later. Thank you, man. After he left San Jacinto Junior High, George Bush went away to school. He later attended Yale, then Harvard Business School. In between, he served in the U.S. Air Force and the Texas Air National Guard. This picture shows young Lieutenant Bush by his jet fighter. After his years in the service and in graduate school, he could have lived anywhere he wanted to. George Bush chose to come home to West Texas. My roots are here. I feel at home here. I like the people. They're warm and friendly. They're also very independent, and I respect that. And I think I understand their problems. George Bush knows that inflation and high taxes are the major concerns of West Texans today. That's why he feels it's imperative that we send a representative to Congress who will vote against the excessive federal spending that is fueling inflation, who will work for an across-the-board tax cut. And people who know George Bush are convinced that he not only shares our concerns, but will be able to do something about them. One reason is that George Bush has a sharp mind. He said his homework well. Uh, and he will be very effective when he gets to Washington because people will listen to him. I'm a registered Democrat, and I have been for a long time. But I'm supporting George Bush this year for Congress because I feel like he's a man of integrity and a represent us more the way we'd rather be represented. I like George Bush's independence, his uh, independent way of thinking. Uh, he would not be controlled by uh, outsiders influencing his opinion. He's very highly educated. He's very dedicated. He takes a lot of pride in what he does. He'll do a great job if we send him up to Washington because he learns so fast and he understands people. I feel sure I can be an effective congressman. I'll listen to you, I'll work hard for you, and I'll introduce and vote for legislation that's in our best interest. Together we can do a lot for West Texas. <laughs>